Evening, I'm Alice Gaynor. And I'm Dick Brennan. Welcome to the News at 9. First at 9, the U.S. is not ruling out more action against Syria after last night's airstrikes. American missiles targeted an airfield that was used to carry out a deadly chemical attack. These before and after photos show that damage. TV 1055, Jessica Layton is here now with reaction and the growing diplomatic dispute. Jessica. Well, Alice, Russian President Vladimir Putin has been a staunch defender of the Syrian government, and he called the airstrikes a serious blow to U.S. Russian relations. The Trump administration says this was a one-time strike unless Syria decides to defy international orders and launch another chemical attack. Aerial photos show the damage done to an airfield in Syria after U.S. strikes. Strikes that have so far been widely supported by world leaders. The greatest war criminal of all, Bashar al-Assad, has now been put on notice. In the face of such heinous war crimes, all civilized peoples must speak with one voice. But there's one voice in particular ringing out against the attack, and it's Syria's most powerful ally. We describe that attack as a fragrant violation of international law. Russian President Vladimir Putin has called the airstrikes an act of aggression. After a briefing on the cruise missile mission Friday, Senator Marco Rubio was asked how concerned he is about Russia. I think they should be more concerned about us than we are about them. Rubio is among the majority of U.S. lawmakers who back the firing of 59 missiles targeting that base that unleashed deadly chemical weapons this week, killing 80 civilians, including children and babies. Asked whether the White House believes the Assad regime should be forced out, Press Secretary Sean Spicer would only say the use of weapons like sarin gas has got to end. The Syrian government, the Assad regime, should at the minimum agree to uh, abide by uh, the agreements that they made not to use chemical weapons. I think that should be a minimum standard throughout the world. Um, so I, I think that's where we start. Destroyed in the strikes, 20 Syrian aircraft. Whether the United States relationship with Russia has also been destroyed remains to be seen. And that should all make for some pretty interesting, if not awkward, conversation as Secretary of State Rex Tillerson heads to Moscow next week. Dick? All right, Jessica, thanks very much. Well, developing in Sweden.